paste it, control V, oh wait, we don't want to add another one, we just want room, right? So, add recipe, new item stack, so it's obviously going to give us an item, or a block in our inventory, item.bed, right? Now the problem with this is, we want to change it to a block, like block pressure plates and block dispenser. So we just capital B block, capitals mean something. And we look for our super, super block, right? New object, I guess that's just there for whatever reason. Now let's think of um, what should we make our, what's it called? Our recipe. Let's just put four blocks next to each other, okay? Now what you should know is this. Uh, recipes are done in this order, okay? You have, uh, you have uh, what's it called? You have symbol, 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 and symbol, symbol, symbol for identifying the three rows of a crafting table. Okay, if you don't want anything in one row, you put a space. Otherwise, as you can tell over here, character value of X is planks, character value of that number sign thing is cloth. So everywhere there is cloth. Everywhere there is this thing, you have to put cloth in your crafting table. Everywhere there is an X, you have to put planks. It's a recipe for a bed, because that's where we copied and pasted it from, right? So let's say we want a square, so we could just put like that. Two and two, because that way this allows us to put the block anywhere. Like, put these blocks anywhere, so let's, I don't know, make it two X's. Two X's. As you saw, they left out the third line completely, unlike a dispenser, which left the third line there. We don't need anything in the third line, and I guess we could add a space at the end, but that's not required because we don't need the first row to have an empty space. We are making this for a normal 2x2 two two crafting thing without the crafting table. Let's put this in the comments. So we could just make it a normal square, like for, I don't know, um, let me see, like, I guess, um, I don't know, sandstone, wait, where our recipes go, okay, right here, sandstone, if you put sand, 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 it makes sandstone, and if you put it in a four square, that's kind of what we're looking for when we make this thing. And we don't need this character of value number sign because, well, number sign isn't here anymore. Character value of X, and I don't know, what should we what should we make this out of? Let's say um, dirt. Block dot D, dirt, right? And you don't need a semicolon at the end. Why? Because it's in parentheses. And the semicolon is here at the end. Okay, semicolons do not have to be, well, they're supposed to be at the end of every line, but if, well, for this, it's a special case because this thing from here all the way, first thing in parentheses over here, is in one set of parentheses, like, I don't know, people like, sign. oh, I thought Eclipse showed you that, but from there to there is one set of parentheses, so everything inside the parentheses does not need a semicolon afterward. It's already at the end over here. So this gives us a crafting thing. Okay, so we're going to save this and we're going to run Minecraft. We're going to make a new world. Single player, create new world. Test. I always use the world seed test for my testing. I don't know, it just always gives you a good testing environment. So. We we're going to show you this awesome thing once it generates and put the rendering to low. And where's the fast graphics? Because otherwise it'll lag when I'm recording. So, what we want is to break four pieces of dirt and see if it makes us our scary face thing right here. Awesome. We got our super block. It doesn't have a name. OMG. I'm sorry, but we can only add names. 
in what's it called? In mod loader. So let's go somewhere dark. So I'm gonna dig down, and then one more down on the sideways to get us a nice dark area. Cause this thing is supposed to glow like glowstone, right? So uh, let's block up the light source. Boom. Oh wait. Oh well, apparently it is just glows just like glowstone. And it's as hard as stone to break, so it'll take me just as long as when I'm breaking a piece of stone with my bare hands. Just gonna have to sit here holding the button down until it breaks. Voila! There is our block. Oh shoot, where'd it go? Did it not give me anything? Oh, that's sad. It didn't give me my block back. I'm mad. I need to make it give me my block back. There's a problem here. It needs to give me my block back right here super block block ID it should have given me my block back or did it I'm not sure super block right super block dot block ID um it should have given me my block back that's all I can say why didn't it let's try that again maybe I just didn't get it you know one of those random things Oh, maybe I think I remember the problem. Okay. Anyway, try making another one. Inventory. Put one. Make us another scary face. Pumpkin, jack o' lantern, light up thing that glows like glowstone. And I'm breaking it with my bare hand. And it gives me nothing. Why? Why do you ask? Because it's not supposed to. If you remember down here, let's make myself another light stone, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it that now. The jack o' lantern light stone block. If you break stone with your bare hands, it will give you nothing. Same with coal, because you need a pickaxe, right? Nothing at all. Sure, that pisses some people off, but you don't get anything. Why? Because it's stone. I mean, how can you expect to get something out of stone if you're smashing it with your bare fist? This is stone. You know why it's stone? Because we put our material to rock, which is the same thing as stone, right? So we gotta change that now. We gotta change something else. Let's go see what materials we can put it as. MAT, right? Material that Java. Let's see if we can find all materials. Aha! Material, air, grass material, ground, wood, rock, iron, water, hmm, TNT. <laughs> Let's make it pumpkin material, right? Because it looks like a pumpkin, I guess. It's called pumpkin. So, where is that? Over here. Craft, no, not crafting manager. Right here, right? Material. I guess we could just type material and we could have gotten the list out. Material dot P, pumpkin. Right? Now, let's save that and try it again. Now, if we block our wonderful block, if we break our wonderful block, it will now fall like a pumpkin. Hey, wait a second. That was a whole lot faster. See, I'm timing this now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seconds, almost exactly, to break it with my bare hand. One, two, three. Wow, that was fast. Apparently, there's something here that is changing how long it takes to break based upon the material. I never knew that, frankly. But anyway, okay. So, glass also has its own material, circuits, sand, etc, etc. We're not going to get dead into that right now, I just learned something new. <laughs> well, we made our basic block, and it glows. Now we just want to, let's say, let's give some other people to put in their computers, right? An X out of Eclipse, we already saved it, we don't need this picture anymore either. So back to our MCP folder, we're going to hit, no wait, not an MCP folder. Tutorial 1, that's our MCP folder, right? So we are going to recompile 
this is supposed to show us any errors that we have, but thanks to Eclipse, we're not going to have any errors because otherwise Eclipse would have told us, right? So, wow, done in 8.79 seconds. About as long as it takes us to break a piece of stone with our bare hands. <laughs> Who knew? So, let's wait for this to finish. Okay. And then reobfuscate. That gives us something that we could put in our Minecraft jars to modify Minecraft. Compacting it. Blah, 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 blah. And wait. And wait. And wait. I'm just going to. Okay, there you go. It modified things found in that file, and that file, and that file. Right? Now it's modifying. Reobfuscating the server. We didn't do anything in that, so. Hmm. Now, in Reob Minecraft, here are our awesome, what's it called, right? Class files. So, what we can do is, um, if I want to go to the app data and modify the existing thing of Minecraft that I have, I can go to bin and open up this thing and put in hi.class, I don't know what hi and un.class are but what I do know is that it sound, looks familiar, hi.class, hi.class un.class, un.class I don't remember there being any block, super block thing definitely the only thing there is bl so the problem here is if I copy and paste this inside it will overwrite the existing ones and thus if I already had a different mod that used those files. Other mod would not work anymore. And it might even give me an error that would completely destroy Minecraft. I don't know. Well, the idea is you can't overwrite stuff. What makes it that good? Well, the only way to not overwrite things is to make everything in a new file, which is what Mod Loader does. Well, Mod Loader is an entire another video. So, goodbye. Until then.